this conspiracy theory about the assault on on Pelosi's husband, Paul Pelosi, was trending on Twitter this morning. After being pumped up all weekend by just a whole phalanx of Christian terrorists and even the owner of Twitter, the South African fascist, Elon Musk. And I think people are going to find out now, he's not a libertarian, he's not a Democrat, he's not a Republican. This fucker is a flat-out, flat-out fascist. And he learned his fascism from the political system that was extant in South Africa uh, for decades. Hashtags that trended and are still trending on Twitter include Pelosi Gay Lover, Pelosi Gate, Listen to the 911. And according to Rolling Stone online this morning, um, these hashtags appear to be uh, in the trending bar, along with, with all these bullshit claims about the attack and the mockery of Nancy Pelosi. It, it, it has never failed to amaze me how much the Christians hate Pelosi, and she's a Christian. They hate her because she's the second most powerful person uh, in terms of uh, uh, the, you know, the presidential uh, um, succession and the most powerful woman in America, if not the most powerful person because of her position as Speaker of the House. And that's the reason the Christians hate her. I mean, the early Christian, uh, the Jew named Saul, who became Paul and helped establish this filthy goddamn religion, made it very clear in his letters to all the churches around Asia Minor uh, at the time that Christianity was being established, that the women in the churches were to shut the fuck up like they had always been um, uh, forced to do in, in the Jewish faith, in, in the ancient Hebrew faith. Well, after it got beyond the biblical aspects, I understand there were, there were Jewish women leaders, or I should say Hebrew women leaders. Don't get in too far here, Malloy. But anyway, Pelosi is a Catholic. She's a Christian. But she's a woman of immense power. And she also kicks ass. She just kicks the shit out of these white male Christian terrorists in the House and the Senate, just bloodies them. So it's, it's understandable why these Christians went after her. Uh, several of these prominent Christian fascist bastards pushed the false idea that both this, this, this attacker, this David DePappy, and um, uh, Pelosi's husband, Paul Pelosi, were in their underwear at the time of the assault. You know, here it is again, how the Christian white male terrorists immediately leap on the gay lover thing. Immediately. It doesn't make any difference what happens. And I have put this idea out there before, and I stand by it, and I believe it's true. So many of these prominent Christian terrorists are deeply closeted and, and just extremely ashamed of their own homosexual tendencies. And were they allowed to go loose if their Christian fucked up religion were to say to them, okay, uh, being gay is now okay, there would be a flood, a flood of these white male Christian terrorists, married and single, who would immediately, immediately try to find uh, each other or gay lovers someplace, it, it has become this repressed homosexuality is one of the driving forces in the Christian religion. It has been for millennia. And it is especially true in the past, oh, I don't know, 60, 70, 80 years in this country. Suppressed homosexuality that just drives these white male Christian terrorists out of their fucking minds. So as soon as they have a chance, they project it out onto somebody else. In this case, Paul Pelosi and this miserable, hate-filled Nazi, David DePappy, before, before any facts in the case are allowed to surface. But this is what these repressed 
violent homosexual Christians do. And they are violent and repressed because their fucked up religion has told them for centuries that the way they feel about members of their own sex is, is to be condemned, is to cast you into hell, is to make you burn in a pit for eternity. I'm telling you, again, I have to drop this in. This Christian religion is one of the most fucked up cults ever invented, ever. Now, I know if your brain has been totally beat to shit by Christianity uh, over the course of your life, you're going to hate what I'm saying. You're going to think I'm a crazy son of a bitch. I'm an atheistic prick. Uh, you think whatever you want. But once you get past that, take a look at your so-called religion, how violent, destructive, vicious, hate-filled, and murderous it really is. Okay. <laughs> Deep breath. So these white Christian terrorist males are also saying uh, the Pelosi news attacker and they were probably lovers because in his phone call to 911, Paul Pelosi speaking in code, and, and these Christian fucks should understand this because they've had code pumped into their head for 2,000 years, but he was using code to the police dispatcher referring to this guy as a friend because he knew that the friend the assassin was listening to him. But this is too subtle. This, this is too, uh, too complex for these Christian terrorists to understand that a person would talk that way in order to get help. And thank God the police dispatcher who heard this knew how to interpret what this filthy uh, um, uh, situation was developing into. So... Now, the San Francisco police, excuse me, <clears throat> have made it very clear that this is bullshit. Men in their underwear and the Pelosi knew the attacker. And by the way, of course, you know, when, when, when the police speak the truth, these fuckers don't care. These Christian terrorists, first of all, they hate the police. They hate authority other than their mock bullshit uh, demon who lives up in, in, in the clouds who's, who directs them in this hate-filled, murderous cult that they're members of. So they're not going to believe the police. They're not going to believe Pelosi. They're not going to even believe the papi. They're not going to believe anybody. Except this vicious creature that exists inside their heads, this Christian God. Oh, my goodness. But the guy broke in, this DePapy broke in, and, and I think this is a matter of record now, screeching, where's Nancy? Before ultimately attacking her husband with a fucking hammer. Which is right in line with what these demons were shrieking when they attacked the U.S. Capitol on January 6, 2021. Same fucking thing. And the latest I've heard, I don't know if this is going to change from the time I record this to the time you hear it, but the latest I heard was that Paul Pelosi was recovering from this vicious attack. And that his doctors, and this is according to the Speaker's office, his doctors expect a full recovery. I mean, the man is 82 years old and he's attacked by some crazy fucker with a hammer and is beaten on the head and arm and hand. Wow. And then this filthy Nazi from South Africa. And he is one. Elon Musk yesterday tweeted and then the fucker tried to hide it by deleting it, but he tweeted a story from this Christian terrorist rag in Santa Monica, the Santa Monica Observer, claiming that Paul Pelosi was not the victim of a break-in. The Santa Monica Observer said that the attack was part of a domestic dispute with a male prostitute. Now, as Rolling Stone points out, this rag in Santa Monica has a 
long history of publishing bullshit, including that Hillary Clinton had died and been replaced with a body double. I mean, for fuck's sake. But this is what the Christians do. This is what these demons who have burped up out of a hell portal and claim to be Christians, this is what they're doing, this kind of shit. And Elon Musk, the South African, made fun of the New York Times for reporting that the tweet was based on a claim from a regular source of misinformation. Like, I guess the South African Nazi just couldn't stand the fact that, that a, an actual news source pointed out that the claim that he, Musk, retweeted and put on his goddamn Twitter feed was bullshit, and everybody knew the source it came from, everybody in, in publishing, and so did Musk. And then this little prick Donald Trump Jr., this little cokehead fuck, mocked the attack on Instagram and Twitter on Sunday, and the little fuck Donald Trump Jr. posted a meme depicting a, a pair of underpants and a hammer, and then he captioned it with, Got my Paul Pelosi Halloween costume ready. I mean, think about that for a second. A violent attempted murder against the Speaker of the House and with her not being president, a president, her husband. And this little fucking cokehead, Donald Trump Jr., feels compelled to make this kind of, of, of a statement on a social media platform that can be seen by hundreds of millions of people. And then this little fucker, this coked out, brain dead son of a bitch, Trump Jr., this morning tweeted a photo of a hammer in a holster and he captioned that open carry in San Francisco. Has the South African Nazi taken him off? The Twitter feed yet? No. And then we have the Christian terrorist son of a bitches who hold political office, who have been mocking the attack. Uh, here's a piece of shit named Clay Higgins, a Republican of Louisiana. He's really a Christian demon. He tweeted and then deleted. An image mocking Speaker Pelosi, and that tweet was captioned, quote, the moment you realize the nudist hippie male prostitute LSD guy was the reason your husband didn't make it to your fundraiser, end quote. I mean, that kind of fucking person is allowed to be a representative determining domestic and foreign policy of the United States government. And as far as the scum, the Christian demon that attacked Paul Pelosi, researchers have found that this prick held all kinds of anti-establishment ideologies. In other words, anti-human ideologies. Uh, in fact, they discovered that some of his online activity had... This bullshit QAnon, and QAnon, trust me, Q, QAnon is the open portal to hell. It really is. Take a look, a close look at Marjorie Taylor Greene, who is the chief spokes bitch for QAnon. And just take a look at her, a close up. And if that woman wasn't vomited up out of the ninth layer of hell, then there is no hell. And there she is. But the QAnon conspiracies, Holocaust denial, false voter fraud claims, all this bullshit against uh, transgender people and so-called groomers. You know, if these fucking Christians want to find out groomers as they define it, look at your fucking church, you crazy son of a bitches. Talk about a portal from hell that has opened up and vomited up these creatures. Man, you know, I, I said, I think last week, 
that I'm almost tempted to renew my, hey, I'm a Christian card. So I can once again fully comprehend and appreciate what Christianity was in theory by the rabbi from Nazareth named Jesus. Because everything I learned in Sunday school, in a Christian Sunday school, all that shit about, uh, you know, love your neighbor, turn the other cheek, um, uh, as you treat these, uh, the least of my people, so you're doing it to me. All of that stuff that I believed in for the longest period of time. And I always felt like I couldn't live up to the gentleness, the love, the caring, the compassion that was put out there by the rabbi. I, I just couldn't do it. So it became, for me, something to aspire to for the longest period of time. I'm serious. Like I said, my church even considered sending me to seminary to become a, a, a Methodist minister. But then I started to come out from under the ether to wake up to the realization that the rabbi from Nazareth had been murdered hundreds of times. He experienced six million deaths in the death camps of World War II. There is no Messiah. Whatever chance that the Christians had of producing a Messiah has been, <clears throat> excuse me, totally burned alive. Hi, Truth Seekers, Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com and never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.